Hey everybody, 大家好 So I'm an ABC, and what's the main thing that ABC struggle with? Their family culture and background, such as speaking Chinese, knowing Chinese history, reading or writing Chinese, basically anything that's Chinese related. To me, there are three types of ABCs. The first one is the whitewashed ABCs. These ABCs. They don't want to have anything to do with being Chinese. They don't care about their family culture or background, and there's no struggle because they just don't give a damn. Always speaking English, and they will get irritated if somebody speaks to them in Chinese. These ABCs, they probably know some basic knowledge of the language, but they just don't want to speak it. For example, if you speak to them in Chinese, they'll just reply in English. So you're gonna follow me, ma? Yeah, I've been pretty busy lately. With finals coming up, I've been studying a lot. How long you phone call, boy? I'm just being no one. Nothing much. Probably just gonna hang out with my friends. Come on, hey, me okay, sick fun, huh? Oh, I can't tonight. I have plans. Pokori, hey, ma, ma, lei jo, bo, hey, ma, kina, yu de sin hoi la. I said I can't. Just tell them I said hi. Dang. Yeah, these ABCs, they are completely Americanized. They just want to isolate themselves from their family as much as possible. Once they turn 18, they move out. Bye, mom, dad. See you never. Like for them to even say one word of Chinese. They feel really humiliated by it. So yeah, whitewash ABCs. However, from what I know, these ABCs do really regret it once they get older. Number two, there are ABCs that do appreciate their family culture and background, but they just don't have the motivation to improve. Most of them just give up too easily. They might take a Chinese class in college, but at the end, they just give it all back to the professor. Most of them would make up an excuse like. I'm too old to improve Chinese. It's too hard. There's no way I'll remember this. This is too hard. I give up. These ABCs, they probably have some basic knowledge of the language. Whatever their parents say to them, that's what they know. And most of them do struggle in a conversation. And if they say something wrong, they don't think of it as a big deal. They just laugh it off. Oh, you got the college a lot of yako scholarship, so um tuition may ho guai yo. Yosi or Heo Hao review was he there do we hold um the sun for the bit final exams? Did you see I um how nervous you you take serious? Oh hey Boston, do you see uh I hold on my hat do you just jacket? If not, my wife will uh just uh catch a cold. 我個 major 係 photography， 因為我中意 take picture。我個、嗯、main reason 係、嗯、想啊，成日都啊去依度嗰度啊，即係用個 camera 影影相咯。So these are the ABCs that do appreciate their family culture, but they just don't have the motivation to improve, despite the fact that they struggle a lot. Number three. There are ABCs that are very desperate to improve their Chinese and learn more about their family culture and background. They will try to avoid speaking English as much as possible. And when they're having a conversation in Chinese, if they say something that sounds awkward or wrong, they get very frustrated. They do not take it lightly. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah, I'm studying in college. Oh, my major, my major is ah ah ah, how to say? Wait a second, let me check. Phone, let me check. Linguistics, how to say? I don't know. Hello, yeah. And any unfamiliar words that they hear, they write it down so they will remember. Oh, honey, do you know what I'm saying? Ha, my god. Oh, let me write it down. Okay, I don't remember. These ABCs, they are very serious about improving Chinese. In my opinion, ABCs number three, they struggle the most because they're very serious about learning Chinese, and that's the ABC I am. I grew up speaking Cantonese and English. But because I really wanted to improve my Chinese even further, I learned Mandarin when I was 18. 大家好，我会讲国语哦，虽然国语不太好，我开始学的时候很难，但是起码现在会讲。我去台湾的时候，我一句英文都没有讲。So I'm ABC number three. So what kind of ABC are you? Let me know below. If you're ABC number one, the whitewash, I really encourage you to. Change your views about、um, your family culture and background because that's really important. And to ABCs number two, if you're under that category, I strongly encourage you to have some motivation or find some motivation to improve your Chinese. Don't just give up too easily. Just take it step by step. Speak more Chinese with your parents. Ask your parents,、uh, how do you say this, that, and that in Chinese? Watch some Chinese movie and have a notebook with you. List down any unfamiliar words. And if you're taking a Chinese class, taking a class won't help. You need to practice. And to ABCs number three, 加油 Right, that's it. Thank you for watching. 多谢收睇。